Mary Gray Pius with Financially Focused Inc. is one of our presenters today. Welcome, Mary. Thank you so much. Tell us about your session and what you'll be speaking on. My session will talk about um, empowerment steps, whether you're in business or in your personal life, that you could use to take your life to the next level. Um, many times we have to f try to figure out why is it that some women or individuals are wealthy and others are not. We have the same resources in a, um, a wonderful country called US of A, but yet still you only get a small percentage that are experiencing wealth. I also define what wealth is, you know, the difference between income and wealth and income and net worth. But I also talk about my definition of wealth. It's not just about money, it has to do with um, peace of mind, a relationship with your creator, having great health, but it's all of that piece combined together is a wealthy life. But the finances is the one thread that goes through all of it. Choosing to do nothing is still a choice about your finances. But, the, but those individuals who became wealthy, and I'll define wealthy for you in a minute, but those individuals who choose to become wealthy made wise choices. Now, since it's just us all girls here and a couple of gentlemen in the back, how many of you know that when you have done something, you know, you, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that was not a wise choice regarding my finances, and you knew it the very minute you finished doing it? The 101, 101 pair of shoes, and then you bought a pair, you'd realize once you got home, you had a second pair that you already bought that you never wore. Any of you ever bought a suit that you didn't realize you liked it a second time, but you didn't realize you bought it the last time when you saw it. Okay. So the more I did the research, the more I realized that we all are making choices. We just need to move from making bad choices to making wise choices. And that turned into a book. And the book that I wrote is called Wealthy Woman, Wise Choices. And in this particular book, I talked about the five components of wealthy women making wise choices. Five components, managing your money with pride, P-R-I-D-E. The P stood for plan and prepare. Every wise woman plans and prepares. I mean, she, I mean, it's just, you can't leave your finances up to just, maybe it'll happen one day, because it won't. It really won't. Um, how many of you know of women who are in retirement and don't have enough to live on in retirement. Whether it's your mom, it's an aunt, or whatever. And, and guess what, the ownership of that rests on the children, or the oldest child, or the youngest child, or whoever's there to care for um, that particular family member. So the P, P stands for plan and prepare. The R stands for retirement planning. Somehow we just wake up and think, okay, I guess I need to retire now, but it does take a plan. The I stood for investment. And I will advise you to, to, to work with someone in terms of investing, but back then I was an investment club and I believe that you need to get as much information as you can to understand about investing your money. The bottom line though, in terms of investing, if you do not understand it, then don't invest in it. If you can't afford to lose every penny of what you're investing, then don't invest it, okay? The D stood for debt management. Now, for those of us in here, uh, those of us in here who are African American, the one thing that I don't understand is after two to three to four hundred years of slavery, how is it that we do self-imposed slavery by getting in debt? And that's what debt is. It's self-imposed. It's self-imposed slavery. I mean, I know that, by the way, I'll give you the doom and gloom in the beginning, and I promise you, I'll make you feel good by the time we get to the end, okay? I promise you, I'll give you some strategies. I love on you, I'll give you a one-on-one -on -one that doesn't cost you anything, I promise you. But we just need to get through the facts because many times what we do with our finances, we ignore. You know, we just pretend it's just gonna go away. We're gonna wake up one day and it's just gonna all snap in place and it doesn't happen that way. So the D is for debt management. You've gotta manage the debt. As a matter of fact, you need to get rid of as much of it as you can prior to retirement. Prior to retirement. And the E was for education. You've got to educate yourself, and I commend you for being a part of the conference Empowered to Prosper Today. So these five components will work on your personal life as well as your business life.